Speaking of things. Speaking of things. What is it? Are you not sure where, what we're doing? Tell them what it's about. It's going to be about some things. Oh. <laughs> Welcome, Tim. Okay. Wait. Okay, let's just roll the episode. No. What? Why did you? You welcomed us. Yeah. Try it again. Welcome, Tim. Oh, well, thanks. Welcome, Dave. Ready? Then we do this, right? We we did it. We did it. This is our first show, everybody. I th- I think. Okay, we'll get better at welcoming. <laughs> it was. I think you know it was a delayed clink. It was a delay. It was everything was oh. delayed. Some was early. Some things were early. Some things were delayed. Yeah. Hey, it's our first time ever doing this show. Yeah. Yeah, so some, yeah, we're not very it's good. Pre-welcome. Pre-welcome. You ever get a brain worm? I got a brain worm the other day. Is it anything like an earworm? It's different. It's different. You know what that made me think of? You remember that stupid uh, Star Trek movie? Oh no. God, uh, no! It go back in the eighties when he put the little worm in the guy's ear. No, is that with uh, Darth Vader? No, that's right. Correct. No, I'm talking about the song Brain Worm. Forget about the, the other star. I'm not a Trek. The earworm. Yeah. Earworm? Is it earworm? Brain worm. It's earworm. Earworm. You know what I mean? You get a stupid song stuck in your head. That's why I said is it the same thing as an earworm? Because it is an earworm. I just don't know how to say words correctly. <laughs> <laughs> My Welcome story, I don't even <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to our train wreck. Does this mic work? Um I got an earworm the other day, and God, was it, it was just stupid. You're 16, you're beautiful, and you're, my, does that ring a bell? Uh, Frankie Valley. No. Four Tops. Nope. Smokey Robinson. No, you're getting further away. <laughs> uh, he was part of probably one of the most famous bands on the planet. Peter Frampton. Nope. Eric Clapton. <laughs> Sting. <laughs> Phil Collins. Well, I'll first say I'll, I'm super impressed with the speed at which you guessed all the wrong answers. <laughs> it's it's a talent. Um, it, 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 there, the band was named after a bug. This was the drummer doing the singing. Um, so Phil Collins. No, Beatles. Okay, so Ringo Starr. I guess mm. the Beatles ended or whatever. And Ringo, not the best Beatle. Um put out an album like they all did they all put out their solo albums and he covered the song you're 16 you're beautiful i'm not saying too much and you're mine not to digress real quick yeah but do you think if instead of calling themselves the beatles they would have called themselves the locust they would all come back (laughs) jesus christ <laughs> it's 13 years. Oh, there are the Crocus again. New album. Yeah. When is it coming out next? Uh, 13 years. But continue. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> so, um, I don't know why that song popped into my head. Maybe I heard it somewhere subliminally and, I, and, and it just, it, the earworm just would not get out. And I'm like, this is the stupidest song ever. What, what the hell is happening in this song? And then I made the mistake. I'm, I'm like, I thought that the, the solution to an earworm is to expose yourself to the song to the point where, it, I don't know. I don't know. I just thought that would get it out of your head. Just whatever. Wrong, wrong theory. So I go to YouTube. Ringo, you're 16. Stupidest video on the planet. My God, if you're listening to me right now, just look up Ringo's You're 16 video. It's horrendous. But then I was like listening to the lyrics. I'm like, this, this is getting a little sketchy. Because it's you're 16, yeah. you're beautiful, and you're mine. He's dancing around with a girl, right? And you're thinking of something more that Michael Jackson should have said. <laughs> this, this was in 1973. I, I, I went down a rabbit hole. This was in 1973 that he, he didn't even write it. He covered this song. Was he the one married to Yoko Ono? No, John Lennon. Oh. Yeah, different, different guy, different Beatle. All right. He, the, John was one of the talented Beatles. Oh, oh God, I'm I just thinking so of many people love. Um, Woody yeah. Allen. Uh, oh, he, yeah, well, that he's the he one. He married that, his daughter. His stepdaughter, oh. or, or his adopted daughter. Adopted Thank, daughter. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that makes it okay. Yeah. She was a, she was adopted. Everything's fine. No, it's not. So Ringo, hey, 1973. This was before he died? <laughs> I, I looked at my paper. I was looking and thinking about the answer when you said that, and then it registered. Yeah, he happened to be alive when he performed this and made this god-awful video. 
right? Mm-hmm. Um, he's singing about a a, uh, a 16-year-old. He's 33 at this point. Oh, he's 33. Boy. Now, some might go, oh, a little weird. But I'm like, what? maybe it's not weird. Maybe, maybe if I just... Re- <laughs> I couldn't imagine Stop. a scenario where it wasn't weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll just read the lyrics because I don't know what the hell he's saying. I just know you're 16. You're be- and maybe it's just like a nice, nice way of saying, like, look, she's a nice young lady. So it, it comes in and he starts with woo, whatever. You're, you come on, you come on like a dream, peaches and cream. So he's just talking about food. And uh, lips like strawberry wine already. Line three getting a little sketchy. You're 16. You're beautiful. You're mine. Boom. Okay. Well, we're not done yet. Your ribbons and curls. Ooh, what a girl. Eyes that sparkle and shine. He's just respecting the fact that the young lady has nice eyes. So not, nobody's getting hurt. You're 16, you're beautiful, you're mine. But then he goes on to say, mine, all mine, 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 mine. I felt, that felt excessive to me. Yeah. But hey, it's, maybe it just fit into the lyrics. Um, then, he's, then he starts going a little harder. Um, excuse the expression. <laughs> Uh, you're my baby. You're my pet. We fell in love on the night we met. Wow. Okay. You touched my hand. I don't think he meant that. My heart went pop. Okay. Where are we at now, Ringo? Oh, when we kissed, I could not stop. Okay. No means no. That's what they say. Yeah. And, and, he, and he missed that one. So you walked out of my dreams into my arms. You're like an angel, divine. You're 16, blah, blah, whatever. Then he gets back into that whole pet thing. He's really hung up on this being a pet. And we they fell in love the night they met, whatever. Then he said, you walked out of my dreams and into my car. Okay, we're, we're deep into this song now. And in the video- Rick he, Astley. <laughs> oh, 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 God. Um, Rick Astley. It, it, I, I should know this. Uh, out of my get, dreams get, and into my car. Get, uh, out of my dreams. No, it's not Rick Astley. That is not Rick Astley. You're right, it's not. It's not. No. Oh, God, I can't think of his name. Oh, uh, um. Speak to SOT at gmail.com. Yeah. <laughs> it was, um. Uh, African-American gentleman. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no? Yes. No, I thought it was um, Huey Lewis. No, you were, hundred, you could not be more wrong, sir. Oh. You're wrong on top of wrong. If you guys know the answer, email it to us. Don't use the interwebs. He's using the interwebs right now. Put it down. You're cheating. All right. We're back to Ringo. And he's he's just, at this point, he's just saying, you're mine, you're mine, you're mine, whatever. And at the very end, if you listen real close, I don't know why, but he threw in two lines, the same two lines. What shall we do with a drunken sailor? I don't know what this guy was tripping on, right? But he's yeah. gone. So now, so now I do a deep dive. I'm like, oh, it wasn't his song. He was just covering the song. Now, it's still sketchy. He's 33 singing to a 16-year-old. So I'm like, well, let, let, let's back it up. I'm sure a teenager was singing to his teenage girlfriend. And apparently Johnny Barnett in 1960, he got a little closer. He was 26 oh, boy. singing about a 16-year-old. And then I go, oh, he didn't even write the song. Got it. There is a teenager that wrote this song. No, the Sherman Brothers... They were 35 and 32 years old, respectively. They wrote the freaking song. We need to find them and get them in a jail cell. <laughs> yes, some, I that's agree. That's some sketchy shit right there. And yeah, they're just is. dancing around like, ah, oh, you're 16. You're beautiful. My. If it's a news story, uh, Ringo Starr, 33 years old, <laughs> just <laughs> was in his car with a 16-year-old. Oh, my God. Making his heart pop or whatever the hell. Now, you're getting locked up, right? Uh, yeah. That was a hit song. I'm confused. Hey, you're either I, you're getting locked up or you're going to the priesthood. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You, you get me every time with that. <laughs> yeah. Every time. Yeah. You know, there's a theory that Paul McCartney is dead. He died uh, with the rest of them in that accident. Nah. Yeah. Nah, he's not dead. Yeah. Paul's just old. Well, speaking of things. Yeah. <laughs> want to make a call back um we talked about um email herpes a uh, number of episodes <laughs> ago why don't i remember that email herpes about yahoo and just being the herpes of email oh, because oh, oh. Just, yeah 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 i took it out yeah got it so i think google is listening 
They're always listening, Dave. Because uh, 20 days ago, which is right after our episode aired, Google announced that it is adding additional filters to their accounts to weed out spam, these bot emails that you get. They're trying to improve their inbox. They're spam filters. Okay. Yeah. Thank so, you. Thank you, Googles. Thanks for listening. Thanks for... Oh, you're thinking we... We did that. Oh! Yeah. It came... The article came out right after we, we released We did that? Yeah. Now, Yahoo said, fuck you guys. <laughs> We're... <laughs> We are fine with you getting spam. <laughs> Yahoo. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, thank you, Google. And yeah. you're welcome, Google. Yeah. So, yeah. We're, you know, we're making a difference on the planet. We are. Sort of. We are. Okay. And, you know, speaking of other big corporations, Amazon, I'm not sure. Are you familiar with them? Do you do does, use the Amazon? It's not. It's uh, known for their rainforest. It is. And also uh, sales of products. Yeah. Maybe. Do you have an Amazon account? Of course. I have the Amazon account and I, hey, this morning, as recently as this morning, I yeah. purchased on the Amazon and I do watch the Prime, the Prime video. I do watch well, that. Well, have you noticed Prime video now, you're getting ads, commercials. I did notice that. that it, 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 well, you know what I noticed? I actually noticed it not on Prime, I, although I, I did see it on Prime, but what sparked the discussion in my house was Paramount Plus just oh. this freaking week hitting you with ads and it's got the little timer yep. and they're, they're, they're two you minutes. You can't skip it now. No, yep. no, you can't skip it. And I'm like, are we inching right back towards terrestrial TV, antenna TV? Yeah. What I mean, a load of shit. Like, wait, we're paying to not have ads. That was the whole point of you doing your own thing. Yeah. And now they're, putting ads in. I think it's because you know, yeah, like Netflix, all the, the big video ones, they've never actually been profitable businesses. They're not profitable to this day. They spend a shit ton, like and Netflix spends a shit ton on, um, what do you call it? Um, content creation. Yes. Content creation, which is where, which is the hardest part to try to be profitable, right? Like if you want to create your own exclusive stuff, yeah. lots of money. It's it's pissing me off because I'm yeah. with you. Like, oh wait, I, monthly subscription f uh, fee to watch what I want when I want with no interruptions. Cool. You know what? I'll spend the money. And then they conditioned us. I I'm going conspiracy theory. It's like they conditioned us to go. Hey, you like this, right? Then they go. Mm. You you kind of want this, like because this is really your best option, right? Yeah, yeah. I guess you need this, right? I mean, I guess so. That's all I have now. Yeah. Well, watch this commercial. Yep. So, Google, if you're listening, fix it. <laughs> we we have that kind of pull. We do. Damn. Fixing emails. And it. thingies, in two weeks when this is done, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> well, speaking of things, you know, talk about just random thoughts and stuff that... Um, Pops into your head. My head or yours? Oh, I'm just talking about mine right now. Ah, but if we neural linked it. Then we would know. Boom. Um, have you ever, we talked, I guess, you know, a few episodes, a few shows ago about hearing your eyes blink. And I called bullshit. Right. And you, not, no, not we, you hearing I, your eyes blink. Right. Not all the time, but sometimes. I call, I, I say never times. I, I, I think you're possibly delusional. Okay. <laughs> well, that got me to thinking. I was um, doing one of the prime commercials. Um, why can't we smell the inside of our nose? <laughs> oh, okay, wait a second. I have a theory. You ever, um, it could be your own house. You could be somebody else's house. I, I don't know. You, Here's an example. I cooked a hamburger inside in a frying pan. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm smelling the hamburger. Exactly. Obviously. I smell it and it, it, it's permeated the house. Hour later, I don't know. I guess the smell's there. I don't smell it, right? Because it's, it's all up in me. It's mm -hmm. all in the nose. And it's all, you walk out of the house, you come back in. Holy shit, the whole house smells like hamburgers. 
what if your nose does have a smell? You think it smells like hamburgers? (laughs) You might not have been tracking with my thought. Maybe. What if your nose has a smell, Mm -hmm. but you can't, like, how do you get away from your nose for long enough and not be exposed to your nose smell to then come back to your nose and sniff and go, holy shit, what the hell? Oh, that's my nose. Huh? Like when you become nose blind. Yeah. Which means you can't see out of your nose. (laughs) No. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. I mean, that is a fact. You can't see out of your nose. That is. You're welcome, everyone. Thank you. Fun with facts. So where where are you going with this? You think there is a smell in your nose or you... you I don't know. I just... I don't think that we can answer it. But because there could be a smell. Why would you smell it? Because you've been smelling it your whole life. So to you, that's neutral. Huh? Maybe if you went the whole day without smelling anything or breathing through your nose. And then like you just, you had a a clothes pin on your nose the whole day. 24 hours, no breathing. 24 hours through your nose. Okay. Because I feel like the other option with no breathing would be problematic. Yeah. And then you wake up the next day, see like, hey, what's my nose smell like? I don't think that'll do it. I don't think that would do, just holding your nose, mm-hmm. th- the smell doesn't go away. You're just not breathing air in and moving it around. The smell's still there. Yeah. You're going to have to have that nose removed. And maybe the sinus is in there too. Ugh. I wonder, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'll try smelling other people's noses. <laughs> no, 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 don't do That's that. That's a good conversation starter though. No, it is not. Hey, can you smell your nose? <laughs> Ways to get put in jail. (laughs) Ways to end up on a list. But conversely, on the opposite end of that, but sticking with smell here. Okay. Soap. Yeah. What do you use soap for? Just like like body soap. Like, well, then you clean clean your hands, you clean clean your body. Yeah. You get the germs off to get the dirt off. Yeah. Why does the scent of the soap stay on you? (laughs) Like, aren't you trying to get rid of everything on your skin? And then here you have soap that is attached to your skin when you're trying to get everything off. Okay. First, for the uh, viewing audience, you made that statement. You lean back in your chair as if you just won a chess match <laughs> and you got checkmate. I feel like you you maybe feel that you've stumbled upon something. <laughs> I don't even know what <laughs> Your what is your what are you going with here? Should oh the soap scent should not stay on your body because you are washing your body of whatever's on this on yeah, the microbes skin. and everything. Hmm. You can't say I'm wrong. Have you discussed you this with a soapologist? We could call a soap factory. Oh, and ask them. Which one would you pick? Irish Spring, Ivory. Uh, I don't even know which ones are out there. Dove. Uh, I don't even know what I use. Do you use soap? Please say yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. I didn't smell you, nor did I smell your nose. So I have no idea what's going on in either area. What if you wash the inside of your nose with soap? (laughs) I'm sensing uh, perhaps a burning sensation. I think the smell would change. Oh, okay. So you're thinking, let's, oh, you know what? Not soap. You want to get a little, little mini power washer little mini power washer, and you're going to blast out whatever's in there. Use a water pick. <laughs> oh, that's going to leave a mark. I mean, it's a mini power washer. It, it, it is, but it's very, it's, it's very laser focused. You would need to be able to take that end and kind of flare it out a little bit because it, it, it is. Uh, you want it throttled down. Well, no, I, no, you want, you don't want that pinpoint accuracy because at that point it's just going to, you're going to end up with the nose piercing. I think if you, I'll if, ask my dentist about it, <laughs> see what he can do. <laughs> hey, Mr. Dennis, hop that puppy in the right nostril. Let's see what happens. I have a friend who is a dentist. I can just text him okay. and ask him. Okay. <laughs> I think he might unfriend you after that. I don't know. Well, what do I know? <laughs> you're smelling your nose. You're hearing your freaking eyelids. Your skin is smelling like soap. I don't know what you've got going on. Yeah, I mean, just speaking of, you know, random human things, Mm. some people um, don't know. You know, because we've known each other. Um, I didn't always have uh, facial hair, a beard, and 
mustache and everything. You've had one for a while. You've been, yeah. You, how long have you been a bearded person? Do you call this a beard? That's that's an interesting thing. I've always wondered. Like my wife said, "Well, you're a beard," and I'm going, "Do I have a beard?" Because I, I feel like I can't grow a beard. Well, do you I, say goatee? I guess so. Does that sound stupid? I mean, do you go by bearded person or whiskered person? Oh, I don't know if I've actually gotten to that level <laughs> of detail. I don't. I, I don't. I have never identified by my facial hair. Oh. What do you go by? Are you a bearded person? Most people say beard when they see. I got that native blood. The the the, uh, the facial hair will only go so far oh. up, and then 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 I just look like a homeless man if I try to go with like the full beard. Oh no, it's not. It's not working for me. Did have you always had um, your facial hair? Okay, so I'm trying to think back. No, no, and it's so. Funny. How did life change for you? How did life change? You know what? Honestly, I still remember, do I want to grow that or not? Like my dad had a mustache, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't have any facial hair. And I I can still distinctly remember. Wow. Am I going to go for it? Like it's a big controversial thing or something or big life decision. Was this before No Shave November was a thing? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I think so. (laughs) And, And I think I may have started just with a mustache. Mm. Pretty weak ass mustache, yeah. admittedly, and then then it kind of you know went down below the lip and had a little something there, yeah. and then yeah, then it then it just stuck. And yeah. it, I think the hardest part is if you've had facial hair, and then if you get rid of it, it's like whoa, you look way different now. Yeah, I wonder what the people who have never known me as a non bearded uh, would think if I shaved my beard off. And I'm saying because I've seen you in um, beard. How did you identify? Uh, bearded. I, I've seen you bearded and non-bearded. Yeah. I bet you show up, and I, I'm like, I, it doesn't even register. Yeah. I wouldn't register, but everybody else that only knows you with that, whatever beard, facial hair. Yeah. Oh my god. They're like that. You you look so different. I also find it's interesting. People who haven't seen me in a while. And then I show up. They're like, "Whoa, you! You grew facial hair. You grew facial hair. It, it. Why is that such a thing? I'm like, yeah, I just didn't shave. <laughs> it's surprisingly easy yeah. to do this. Just do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was irritated though. I went to the and got my hair cut, and I was like, "Hey, just trim it up a little bit, get the flyaways, and then um, is that the, what they're called? Like when they stick out their wide, the whisker flyaways. Yeah. Got it. The, I just can I write that down? Rogue whiskers." <laughs> And uh, they went really too close, and I was I was irritated. I was like, it doesn't look like skin irritation it did before, emotional irritation, emotional. Okay, I'm pissed off. I, well, yeah. that's that, that's your baseline. Baseline. <laughs> baseline. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did the person get a tip after that? Uh, yes, but I'll never go back. Ah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. One more thing before we wrap up here. Got it. Just thinking about life in general. Mm-hmm. You recycle. So there was, there was a day, a time, a year that we did recycle because mm-hmm. they still have recycling pickup here oh, okay. in Pennsylvania. And they only do this thing once a week where they do trash and recycling same day. And I basically learned. I just put it in the same bag, but continue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to recycle it? You're going to have to do a little separate in there, son. So single stream. See, <laughs> you you're helping, I think. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah. I, what I learned was it, it kind of is, tr- don't get all freaked out, everybody. I do like the planet. But you look into the recycling thing and you find out, because I was told directly by a number of them, nah, dude, it's, it's all in the place. same pile of shit. Yep. I'm like, come on, really? And uh, what I learned was like, what was it? Who was it? China? Whoever, whoever was buying our recycled oh, they shit. Buying. They're like, yeah, we're good. Yep. We're good here. And then and then the recycling places are just sitting on mounds and mounds of, of cans and other shit Glass. that they can't get rid of. When you talk to people, they say, oh, but recycling, it reduces your trash. It reduces your trash. Well, I mean, it so puts it in less. two different bins. Thank you. I say the same thing. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's still trash. You're still getting rid of it. But see, they're of the uh, school of thought that it's the uh, utopia where the recycling it just reappears as a, as a brand new bottle or a brand new cup or a box or whatever. And you're going, yeah, no, it, nope, sorry. You know how else you could do that? 
just keep the bottle and put something else in it. That's an option. It's an option. It is an option. Keep the box, put something else in it. <laughs> Re reduce, re what is it? Recy recycle, reuse, reduce, whatever. Reuse that, is one of the words. It I believe you're correct. Yeah. Yeah. Recycle. So, recycle. <laughs> <laughs> How did I not think of that word? Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, we're being real. And I know people hate to hear this. A lot of the recycling is total bullshit. You've been, you've been conned. No, maybe, maybe at one time, not maybe, at one time they really were doing some sort of recycling. Mm -hmm. And then you find out, oh my God, the machines, they run and run and run. They'll use a lot of electricity. And then the plant powering them is powered by coal. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I like the earth. Don't don't send me letters saying I hate the earth. I like the earth. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to destroy it. Me but, either. But my recycling, it's going in landfill. Yeah, speaking of the earth, a billion years, we're no longer going to have eclipses. Who told you that? YouTube. <laughs> the YouTubes? Yep. Who... Can I ask the next question? I know you said YouTube, but usually there's an individual or a group that posts the video. Did, do you know who? I forgot. That doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, something we haven't done in a while. Pranks you can do at home. Pranks you can do at home. Or wherever you want to. Pranks you can do at home. Beautiful. I love those pranks. I yeah. love them. And sometimes you can do them outside. As Anywhere. Well. Anywhere. We always say at home because it sounds cool. Feel free to do this wherever the hell you want. Wherever you want. Wherever you want. So, I don't know. Were you, were you into cars when you're a car person? Like, oh, you would hear and be like, oh, that's a 57 Chevy. No. No. I, I Yeah, my car game's pretty weak. Like, it's mine too. I, I like cars, but I don't love cars. I've never had like a fascination with them. And I'm not a gearhead. But you know what's funny? I'll watch like the car shows, like the repair and stuff. I don't know why. It makes me feel like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Yeah. yeah. I've never been a big car person really until I have a car that doesn't have a motor. <laughs> you know what? Maybe not bad. You know? <laughs> Little uh, divergent here on, on pranks you can do at home. The other day I was driving somewhere and I was on the road and what, can I just say you just said I was driving somewhere on the road? <laughs> Do you normally go off road? I didn't want people to be confused and think I was at the racetrack or something. Okay. And I'm driving and then I'm not really, you know, I'm just focused on whatever, wherever I'm going. And then there's a truck and he keeps like going backwards and forwards, like trying to pace me. He's and not going backwards and forwards. He's going I mean, slow and slower. fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow yeah, and fast. Yeah, yeah. fast. Yeah. I'm like, what is he doing? I'm like. He wants to race me. Wait, uh, like a pickup truck? A pickup truck, but it's a V8 Hemi. Ah, he's got it all supercharged and blah, all blah, blah. supercharged. Did he have the big ass like 17 inch exhaust on the back? Uh, I think it was loud. So yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, he wants to race me because there's no one on the road. Like, what? You're thinking because you have the, the space car? Yeah. And we, I think we've learned that uh, electric cars... They can, they can move and they can off the, off the mark. I mean, it's zero to 60 in what? I don't know. Uh, mine is 3.7 seconds. Redonkulous. Cool. Yep. Okay. We're already going about 50 miles an hour. Oh, so he's ready. He's like game one. Let's do this. You're, right. You're, he's game one. He doesn't have to fire all the cylinders and everything. Yeah. Like he's already got, he's got the, the momentum, the eight going. So wait, are you on the highway? Yeah. Okay. And on the road, the highway road. The highway road. <laughs> is this a straightaway or the curves? Straightaway. Okay. <laughs> and so once I realized this, I was like, there's no one around. All right. Yeah, I fuck it. So, you know, we slow down to like 40 and then I let him start pulling ahead and I just floor it. Oh my God. And? So, oh, smoked him. Really? Oh yeah. I'm not sure how fast I go from 60 to a hundred, but he was way back there. And, uh, <laughs> just, then got off my eggs and went you about got off. my day. <laughs> you, did you feel like, a little better? I did. You did. I did. I was like, here you go, V8 Hemi. You know, you think you're such a... a and I, I'm a truck owner as well. I yeah. have a truck. But I was like, yeah, what were you thinking? Right. Well, you know? I, let me... See, I, I've never done it because I just don't care enough. And I've never had a car that would win. But um, what's the protocol? Obviously, 
the initiation, like the waving to say, hey, I'm trying to get your attention is to speed up, slow down. Wait, he was in front of you doing this? He was next to me. Yeah, okay, next to you makes more sense. So yep. speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Yep. Okay, there, there's your, your flag to say, hey, or your, your question. Yep. You want it? So how did you initiate Ready, Set, Go? So I just slowed to match his speed. Oh, you lined up. Lined up. And then, you know, it's rolling start. And he started pulling ahead. So that was like the go. Cause did I you, was wait, like, wait, did you lock eyes? Did you see each other? No, because he's sitting higher than me. Oh, yep. Okay. And then I let him pull ahead, you know, because he could obviously tell at that point I let him pull ahead and then I just left him. But in did the it dust. seem like he was gunning it? Like, let's, oh, yeah. Oh, he you, was. You, you could tell, like, you could hear everything it. was. Yeah, firing. And, and you got the, uh, the the space card, which is just mm, yeah, nice and quiet. Which brings us back to uh, pranks you can do at home. Oh, yeah, we did. We were talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, we took a weird left turn there. Straight. Oh, straight turn. Yeah. Straight, straight turn. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Okay, I'll stop um, talking. So, you know, I know car people, and this, so this is more of a car prank you can do at home or anywhere. Mm-hmm. You'll be like, oh, that's a 57 Chevy 8 block. You know, all the car lingo you say when you hear the car, like when you're sitting somewhere and, oh, that's what it is, you know, or Chevelle. Blah, well, blah, the blah. things that I wouldn't say because I wouldn't know, but others, right. other but others gearheads would. might know. Yeah. So, you know, this is what well, anyone can do this and it'll make you seem like a car person. You're just sitting there and then you, you listen, like Tesla Model 3 2022. <laughs> No sound whatsoever. No sound whatsoever. Be like, <laughs> Tesla Model S Plaid 2021 just went by. Sil? No, black. It's black. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And he's he's one version behind on the software upgrade. It, it, and I don't hold that against him. But you, you, can, you can hear that. Yeah. <laughs> so you got the gearheads just looking at, how in the fuck did he, yep. how? All I hear is a little fan running. Just a little <laughs> little sound. He heard that car. Yeah. You hear that? You hear that? Yeah, that's on the highway. There's a 695. He's actually in the left-hand lane, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's he doing? Hey, he's got a stupid station on, too. What the hell is he listening to? <laughs> so, a little fun. Well, get Frank on your uh, gearhead uh, hat and start calling out some cars if you get a chance. So, we're going to get out of here. Later. <laughs> Am I wrong in saying that it is hard to believe that you just spent time listening to this? I mean, are you listening because it is court mandated or something? I don't know. Who am I to judge anyway? Well, when you are finished trying to smell your nose, feel free to email the boys at speak to SOT at gmail.com. Think of your email as charity. It makes them think that people listen and like the show. We can call it our own personal inside joke. Until next time, keep speaking of things.